Lord Irving, why are you here? Who are you? Why did you kill them? Emil! My mother and my father, and all those people in Pomacosta. Why did you have to kill all of them? <gasps> Not again. With Paul Macosta. How dare you say that? What do you mean, again? I'll never forgive you for that! Careless! <clears throat> I'm alive. I guess he decided not to kill us. Lady Marta, Centurion Lumen's core is... It's gone! Uh, are you talking about a white jewel? I, I think that Lloyd took it with him. He took it? Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Was it important? Yes. Centurion Lumen's core is essential to our journey. Lady Marta, let's hurry. You and I must go after them. <sighs> okay, but first... Thank you so much, Emil. I really appreciate you saving me once again. I didn't do anything. I mean, I was pretty much useless. But you did save me. You became a knight. A knight of Ratatosk. That's why you were able to save me, right? I always thought that you would make a wonderful night. It's true. That's what I thought ever since the first time we met. You what? <laughs> it's okay. I guess that it just wasn't as memorable for you. But honestly, I'm very grateful to you for saving me. What would I have done without you? Uh, um... Lady Marta, we must hurry. Yes, you're right. Emil? Would you help us, just until we make it out of this place? Uh, sure. Marta is kind of a strange girl. What's this? It looks like the mask that Lloyd was wearing. It's pretty... tacky. Super tacky. Tacky, indeed. It appears the door has been sealed from the other side. Damn! This must be Lloyd's doing. I'm sure he did this to trap us in here. There is a draft. There must be another way out. Let's have a look around. This is Lloyd's mask. It's probably inspired by that play, The Phantom of the Operetta. You think so? It reminds me more of F for Feud. Is that the one with the twin brothers, where the one is king and at the end they switch places? You're thinking of the man in the Illumina mask. How can you get those two mixed up? I have no idea what you two are talking about.
Jewel hunter Lloyd Irving is here. What's this? Ah, uh, that jerk! Set it on fire! Emil, burn it for her. Burn it? Oh, you mean that? trace of Lumen. It may be too late to follow them. No. Is this Lumen's core really so valuable that you'd fight over it? Oh, I guess a lot of this doesn't make sense to you. To put it simply, the Centurion's cores are the eggs of Centurions, like Tenebrae. Lumen's core is the egg of Centurion Lumen. You might say that cores contain Centurions in hibernation. And the core on my forehead is Ratatosk's core, and it's... The Demon Lord's egg? I told you he's not a demon! Perhaps we should take the time to explain all of this to Emil. True, but let's get out of here first. So, Marta, about this rat attacks? It's ratatosk, not rat attacks. Oh, right. Um, so this rat attacks? His name is Ratatosk. Sheesh, what's the difference? What's the difference? How rude. How would you feel if someone were to call you a mule? Actually, my mule is quite the combination of strength and servility. <laughs> well played, Lady Marta. Well played. So much for asking about Ratatosk. Why do you think Lloyd is collecting Centurion's course? Hmm. He could be trying to exterminate anyone who resists the Church of Martell. I bet it's something like that. Th that's why he's collecting them? I don't know. But in Palma Costa. Palma Costa? N never mind. Anyway, he's teamed up with the Church of Martell to oppress the people of Silverant. So he must be gathering the cores for some lousy reason or another. It makes me want to scream! Lloyd stands for lousy with a capital L. Yeah, and that second L in his name stands for loser. Or even laudacious. Well, what does that mean? Beats me. where the Tower of Mana used to be. Lloyd and his companions came here on their journey of world regeneration. So it's a historical site for the Church of Martell. Right. No wonder there are hidden passages. And of course, Lloyd would show up. Oh, so Lloyd's friends in the Church of Martell guided him. It's only a guess. I'm unable to sense Lumen's presence. It appears that Lloyd has escaped. I guess we'll go back to Lewin for now. That okay with you? Uh, yeah. Shut up! That was 
was nothing. I love the way you said that. I'm not fighting anymore. Why don't we take a break here? It'll give us a chance to explain to you about Ratatosk. Sure. I want to know what's going on. All right, then. How much do you know about the world before its regeneration by the chosen Colette? I know the basics. 
As you know, our world was divided into two by the will of the goddess Martell and the hero Mythos. While the world was divided in two, Lord Ratatosk transformed into his core and became dormant. That's this core on my forehead, Ratatosk's core. You mean that's the demon lord Ratatosk's egg? Lord Ratatosk is not a demon lord. He was a summoned spirit of the Great Tree of Old and is the lord of all monsters. In order to awaken Ratatosk, we have to first awaken all of his servants, the Centurions, by hatching them. That's why we're on a journey looking for the Centurions' cores. Why can't Ratatosk stay asleep? If he's asleep, nature will be thrown off balance and destroy the world. For instance, Ratatosk's sleep is the reason why Lake Sinoa has dried up. And without him around to oversee things, most monsters have cut ties with the Centurions they serve. So the monsters are running wild and causing the world's mana to fall out of balance. Even while Lord Ratatosk is dormant, the Centurions are supposed to form ties with monsters and maintain order. Yet the Centurion of Water, Aqua, has allied with Richter and is neglecting her duties. Which is precisely the reason why we have seen one water-related disaster after another. It's absolutely deplorable. If all this is true, then why do you have to fight? Lord Ratatosk is exceedingly powerful. Though they may not be as powerful as Ratatosk's core, Centurion's cores still possess remarkable powers. Some people are trying to get the cores for their own selfish reasons. Lloyd and Richter are among those people. Lady Marta recovered Ratatosk's core from them. But somehow the core managed to attach itself to my forehead. To tell you the truth, it's a bit frustrating. Do you understand now? Yeah, I guess. I still can't believe Richter would do something like that. I'll drop out of sight since my presence may draw unwanted attention. Oh, hey! You're not one of the monsters that attack the people in town, are you? Huh. Of course not. Those monsters were lured to the village by Lumen's core. When Centurions are in their core state, they're unable to control their powers. This results in the disruption of the mana balance and throws nature into chaos. That's why I don't want to give the core to Lloyd or Richter. I guess Centurions' cores are nothing but trouble. How rude. All right. Why don't we go to your house for now? Oh, um, we should first go tell the mayor what happened with Richter. Okay, maybe we can ask him about Lloyd, too. Let's go. Yeah, I don't want her to see me being yelled at by my aunt and uncle. Hey, Tenebrae, are you here? Yes, I'm right over here. Huh? Where? Here. Over here? No, over here. Wait, you mean here? Tenebrae, stop teasing Emil. How rude. This is part of the training of a Knight of Ratatosk. Let's see, where am I now? <laughs> <sighs> now I know why Aqua calls you spiteful. Rats! Here I 
was getting all ready to visit Emile's house, introduce myself to his family, and make our status as a wonderful new couple official. So that's why you demanded he take you to his home so suddenly. I get it now. Emile's so shy, he must be too embarrassed to return home with his girlfriend. That sounds like wishful thinking to me. Quiet, Tenebrae. That settles it. I've got to get him to like me more. Hey, Emile! When's your birthday? What's your favorite food? Do you like girls with long or short hair better? Hey, hey, Marta! Stop clinging to me! I'm afraid this will be an unrequited love. Lady Marta, we've been looking for you. Hawk, is he a friend? Commander Brute says that if you return Ratatosk's core, all will be forgiven, and you'll be welcomed back into the Vanguard. You're a member of the Vanguard? You can tell Commander Brute that what you did, what all of you did, isn't something I can forget. Whatever do you mean? Don't act dumb. I'm not giving up Ratatosk's core. <laughs> then we will show you no mercy. Men, seize Lady Marta. Yes, yes sir.
Should have never gone against me. Lady Marta, Emile, we must leave this place at once. You're right. Let's go. What? How did I get wrapped up in this mess?